How do you see the rest of the top 10 playing out in the first round? I think I'm looking at Chase at six, right? Like when, when you think about the type of, of, of talent and, you know, what people talked about being out of LSU and, and we saw what Jefferson did last year. I mean, this kid can be a significant difference maker going to Miami. I like that. And then obviously De Devontae Smith going to Detroit. I think that would be a huge addition. You bring it in, Jared Goff back to Detroit, give him weapons on the outside. Devontae Smith, I know he's an undersized guy, but I like the speed. I like the route running that he gives you. Sertain going to Carolina. Uh, listen, this is the best. This, this is probably the best defensive player in the draft. That sounds crazy to be picked at eighth, but that's really where he'll be. To me, this is the biggest question mark. Does Denver move up at, from from the nine spot. If not, Lance would fall to him. If so, do they try to go get a uh, Justin Fields at four? If they get by, if it gets bypassed, I mean, there's a lot of different things with Matt Jones and all those pieces and parts. I like Denver going to get a quarterback, and then I think the shock of the draft is if Matt Jones is left. New England trades with Dallas. Dallas has to, in my opinion, has to look for either a corner or an offensive lineman. But going to get Matt Jones, I think that would be a huge upgrade for them offensively. Wouldn't play probably this year, or at least not early, in front of Cam Newton, but would be the future for this organization. And somebody Josh McDaniels would have a whole lot of success with, in my opinion. I like it. And the connection between Belichick and Bama head coach Nick Saban is obviously one, which those two are very good friends. So that'd be some great information for Belichick. Quick follow-up, Jeff. If Dallas doesn't trade that pick at 10, what do you think the Cowboys are going to do? Got to be Slater or Sewell, whichever guy is still left. You, you have to take an offensive lineman, in my opinion. And listen, when you talk about Tyron Smith at left tackle and even Collins at right tackle, but both those guys were banged up last year. Smith is getting older. Put a guy in. You could put Slater in there. He could move to guard, play for a year or two at guard, and then bounce him to tackle whenever Smith does decide to move on. That, again, that would, that, would, that would strengthen that offensive line. And Zach Martin was banged up all last year. So you think about, again, this offensive line that was once dominant has been really injury plagued. So bringing a guy in there with stability who, again, guys, this is how football games are truly won. Offense and defensive lines. I get we all fall in love with fantasy football, but the truth is to win games, you have to be solid on the inside. Bringing a guy like that in, I think it makes a huge difference. Whichever one's left, I think the Cowboys go there and make themselves a much better football team and protect Dak Prescott. Super Bowl champ, six-time Pro Bowler, Jeff Saturday, kind enough to join us here on Bet. Always a pleasure, Jeff. Thanks for the time and the insights. Appreciate it, fellas. See y'all.